basically uh it's this image that's um really has people on this image um it's transparent by the way so that's why it's showing like that basically what it's saying is coming soon we can upgrade our secret seals with badges and secret coins uh how many secret coins do i have I have 159 secret coins. I don't know. I don't know the. I don't know anything specific about this. All I know is that it's coming out. So why does this matter so much in the game right now? It's pretty simple because um, a lot of people have a ton of secret coins stocked piled up, and then seals actually break a lot of things. What do you mean by break? So speed plus one doesn't seem like a big deal, right? Uh, let's go to my Delthea who has my speed plus one seal. Speed plus one doesn't seem like a big deal, but every time you add another point of speed, when you're in the very, very peculiar situation of 40 speed, it makes a huge difference because most heroes in this game are around 40 to 45 speed when they're in um, tier 20. All the, most of the quick heroes anyways. So every point of extra speed you can get prevents you from getting doubled. And if you're a really fast hero, that extra point can mean you can double. And if you can double, you finish a round quicker, right? And if you... Well, you, f you kill them in the same turn. Or if you don't have the speed and if you prevent a double, you don't die in the same turn. That makes a huge difference. So upgrading this would make it speed plus one, speed plus one. So it's speed plus three if you level it up. So in this entire time, we've had a lot of hints when it just says um, speed plus one instead of like speed plus plus three and stuff. And if you guys didn't know, like the seals were already in game. The upgraded seals were already in the game. Um... You can even tell, see how they have the circles around them? The circles? It's a bronze circle, indicating it's the lowest level of it. Same with attack plus one. Attack plus one on like heroes that can quad attack is gonna be insane. So like if you can get attack plus three on like um, quad Suna, quad Delia, for example, you're just doing a ton of damage. It's, it's gonna be insane. Um, defense plus one's not gonna make as big of a difference, but it can make some heroes, can keep some heroes like Xander in um, QR, uh, quick repose longer that really helps out too uh what i know of is that it doesn't affect oh yeah distant defense seal that seals like this are going to break the game having distant defense three or like panic ploy three panic ploy three or attack ploy three those things will really change up how the meta is currently um breath of life not so much people are going to have fun making like performing arts dancer healer build but it's kind of ridiculous not i don't really put much stock in that guys um, quick and QP can't be upgraded, I believe. Yeah, QP will not be upgraded. Did I say QP? I meant panic ploy. You can tell QP can't be upgraded because it has a white circle. A white circle means it's it's only it's only for that level. Uh, only for that level. So it's like it's it is a max skill basically. Um, Phantom speed actually can be, and Hardy bearing. Hardy bearing is the interesting option because um, with this that means we won't have to be a hundred percent to use Hardy bearing. At Harding Bearing 3, it might just be like 50% or actually 0%. Like as long as you are alive, you can use Hardy Bearing. And that, that really makes Hardy Bearing a lot more useful than it actually is right now. Phantom Speed as well, this helps a lot of people as well. But like Phantom Speed's base um, base value of plus 5 is already pretty high. And yeah, Squad Ace, Thief, all those stuff will be as well. A, B, C. See the ones? Basically, if it has a 1 next to it, it means they can be upgraded. That's about all you need to know about that. Heart just hardy bearing, fam speed being at one are signals. Yeah, they are signals, and panic ploy is going to be a huge game changer. Uh, but yeah, uh, going back to what I was saying, you can tell from this. Uh, crap, I took it off. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we'll go to Braveland instead. If it has a white circle on the skill, it means they're already at the maximum levels. So yeah, quick and pulse can't be done anything too. Looking forward to Phantom Speed 2, but no Alm yet. It's better with Sorin or heroes like Sorin. If you have Sorin, one of the most interesting builds I've seen with um, Phantom Speed seal is basically you get Water Sweep from Sorin, Water Sweep 3, and you put it on Julia. Julia is too slow to double, right? Which is fine, because once you put Phantom Speed on, uh, Phantom Speed on, she can attack like Ryomas and stuff without getting counterattacked. And that's one of the most interesting builds I've seen so far. And if you have, um, you know, a higher level of Phantom Speed, where it's like, what, if, if, 
assuming fam speed is like plus fam speed three is gonna be like plus um plus ten to actual value you know that actually completely changes things if it's not plus ten it's plus eight i'm gonna assume it's plus eight then um then yeah that still makes a big difference but yeah fam speed seals phantom speed is actually gonna make a difference in the game now that's a good idea yeah it is a good idea i've seen it it's crazy anyways let's go back there's one more thing that was supposed to be shown um crap i think i can just show you on the pc pc here yeah so the last thing we need to talk about is um secret seal forges secret seal forges this is from somebody who's already like data mined the game basically um badges it's sacred coins and badges that you're going to use to forge seals um I'm not sure if you need secret coins to forge seals, but to forge seals means basically if you don't have a seal yet, you can actually just make it. And this also opens the book on potentially getting more seals released that we haven't been able to get yet. Like, for example, we haven't been able to get a seal, for, like seals that are not out yet. There might be a seal for like anything in the game because a seal is basically a skill just, you know, on the skill slot <laughs> instead the seal slot instead basically but yeah we can make seals in the future um so if you if for example you miss speed plus one or you join the game late and there's no quicken pulse you can just make one that's really interesting uh but what i'm more most curious about is that if they're going to introduce new seals that have never been released before and that you have to make them um it's also gonna be a nice way to use our inventory if you guys haven't seen like my inventory it's personally it's my inventory is full of crap there's like nothing to do with this stuff. Like, what what are you supposed to use this stuff on? You're never gonna run out of seals and badges. Sorry, badges, badges and shards essentially. There's just nothing to spend anything on. But yeah, like the game is about to go through a big change, and the meta is gonna change a lot. Rayful staff, like yeah, if Rayful staff became a seal, that would really make um, healers a lot better in this game. I don't think Deathblow or Swift Sparrow would come out because those are really Swift. No, I don't think Swift Sparrow come Swift Sparrow would come out because that's a really rare skill as is. Deathblow though probably. Deathblow would be kind of broken though. That'd be stupid to be honest. I hope they don't put Deathblow in, but if they really care about changing the meta, they'll put Deathblow in. I was imagining Distant Defense Three Camus with Distant Defense Three and Fortified Cavalry. <laughs> Oh boy, we we know you're a big horse emblem fanboy just by saying this, something like that, huh? But yeah, that would be broken. Yeah, this game just really changes right now. TA, TA as a seal, that would be insane. I hope TA doesn't come out. If TA was a seal, yeah, that's stupid. Because you guys do know like why, why, how skill slots work, right? Your first slot, your A slot is where you can have stat manipulations. So something like Fury, Life and Death, or um, Quick and uh, sorry, uh, Darting Blow. Sorry, I uh, ma made that mistake. That can really change things up. That can really change things up. Um, stat changing seals already make a big difference, but as soon as you allow them to be allow big skills to be moved onto your seal slot, that's going to change the game. Probably the one seal that I was hearing about that scared me the most was the idea of distant counter seal. Can you believe that? If they made a distant counter seal and you put it on like Zephyl, I guess Zephyl wouldn't be dead anymore if you put distant counter on um if the distant counter seal came out. But it, yeah, something like that would really change the game. I hope they don't do it. Um, I think that's going too far, but technically that could happen to have a distant counter seal. I don't think life and death. I think life and death is too much. The thing with life and death is like, imagine you put a life and death seal on somebody with life and death already. Say I got let. Say I have life and death three, and I have a life and death three seal. I'll have zero defense, but I don't really care about defense at this point because five defense is the same as zero defense. Everything kills me anyways. You guys just saw a match in Arena Assault where I just struggled to use Delphi Delthea because everything would kill her in one blow. But you know, 
When your defense is so low, who cares anymore? You just pushed at attack and speed, but yeah. But we're gonna see. The game has a lot of things that's that's gonna change the meta coming out soon. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Well, that said, it's that's those aren't the only things. There are other things coming out as well. I'll quickly briefly go over them. Um, the new squad assault already came out. Secret seals are upgradable. We know that. Secret seal forge will be added. Yep, I talked about that. There's also going to be new damage reducing skills being added. I don't know what that's about. We're going to get a new story chapter as well. Chapter 15. Um, it's going to be about Alphonse. Honestly, I'm like pissed off. Because I don't want anything more about Alphonse. Alphonse is like one of the most boring heroes. I would send him home if he wasn't a bonus hero. But yeah. It's chapter 15, which also means chapter 14 is coming out as well. Um, but yeah, we know there's chapter 15 now. Which is to say, this shitty story is going to continue on. I don't care about Zakaris at all, but it's going to keep going. And finally, we're going to have one more Bond hero battle for Minerva and Mar Maria. Uh, Minerva is the big sister of Maria, Maria, and their older brother is Michaelis. How did I forget his name for a moment? But yeah, there's a lot of new content coming out soon.